I wanted to come on here and talk about the subject of gua sha -ing. So I used to be a skeptic and a non-believer, uh, a skeptic and, yeah, non-believer of this, the gua sha technique. But after having incorporated this into my daily morning routine for the past three months, I do see a difference in my facial and neck structure. And I've been, I am now converted and I am a true believer. I, you won't, I don't see like extremely dramatic results, but I do see, I do see a result, uh, a positive result and, and, and uh, a slight difference in my facial and neck structure. Uh, so what I'm doing, I've already done my gua sha, my gua sha uh, t uh, routine for the morning. So I'm just showing you a quick version of how I do it. Uh, but you can, if you are interested in it, you can definitely look up or watch, um, you know, there's various um, YouTube videos on gua sha techniques and if you're interested that's something you can look up and choose one that uh, suits your your preference so while we're on the subject of this I I watched uh, this YouTube uh, personality and podcast uh, podcast personality named Shailene or Shalene Johnson her first name is spelled C-H-A-L-E-N-E and one of her podcasts or her vlogs does touch on the subject of how her face, her facial structure was altered just using using natural techniques uh, that she started that she incorporated into her life daily. One of them was gua sha or facial massage. And I think she started out with the gua sha, but she lost her her stone or something. So she ended up and 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 continues to do facial facial massages with her her hands and her fingers and another technique that she touches on in regards to uh, the many techniques that she incorporated in regards to her changing or altering her facial structure with natural natural um, practices was the practice of what nose breathing versus mouth breathing and she does touch on the pos the the positive benefits of being a nose breather and training yourself to become a nose breather versus being a mouth breather that's an interesting podcast if you're if you if that does pique your interest her name is Shalene or Shailene Johnson and her first name is spelled C H A L E N E so that's the subject of gua sha that I wanted to share with you and how I do see a uh, uh, alteration in my facial and neck structure another uh, another subject that I wanted to touch on uh, which I, I know we've seen uh, we've seen being touted uh, touted uh, around uh, is this Donna Karan cashmere mist deodorant so my sister introduced me to the Donna Karan cashmere mist perfume in the early 2000s and that perfume is one of my favorites i have three favorite high-end perfumes and that they are my go-to's and and that is chanel number no. five versace's crystal noir and donna karan's cashmere mist and it that cashmere mist donna karan's cashmere mist is similar to chanel number no. fives where it has this slight very slight uh light powdery fragrance I, I love i loved that i love that donna karan cashmere mist perfume it's my favorite so that led me to wanting to try this along with this being touted by numerous influencers and you know scent is a very strong selling point or a non-selling point for a product and you you know you have people that love scent and people that are just into not into scents in products at all and i'm that i'm the love i love scented products the scent is 
is one of the main selling points in a product for me. So when I got this, I was disappointed. I just, I was just disappointed in it. It's just the the texture of uh, the texture of it on um, uh, you know applying it, the scent. It was clearly a disappointment for me. But don't get me wrong, the the perfume is a winner. It's 100%. I love the perfume. I'm just not into the the deodorant. So the third topic that I wanted to to um do, to talk about was this app. It's called it's the Yucca app and it's spelled Y U K A and maybe that's not a new app that's that's going around maybe it's been around a while but it is new to me and my daughter introduced me to that two to three weeks ago um, she's probably had that app I, I don't know for how long but I, I learned about it through her because we were we were in the store um, we were there to buy a leave-in detangler for my granddaughter and we were looking at all these leave-in products, detanglers, and my daughter was scanning the barcodes on, on those products. And she was, it gives you ratings, uh, you know, poor, bad, good uh, ratings on the product. And, and then in some cases, it does offer you an alternative, like a, a highly rated product, a highly rated, a highly rated positive product. Uh, it gives you an alternative in some in some cases, and so I I did so I downloaded that Yucca app, and I've just been obsessed with it. And I I scanned the barcode on this, uh, knowing that I was disappointed with this product, and no surprise, it did come up as like with a bad rating or poor poor rating. So uh, though I'm I'm a I, I, I love the perfume and it's my favorite and I would purchase the perfume over and over again. I'm definitely, this is a disappointment and I wouldn't purchase this again. And it got poor ratings on that Yucca app. So look up that Yucca app if you, just like me, were never aware of it. And thankful to my daughter for showing me that app. And now I scan all the barcodes on products to, to see the ratings on them. So those are the topics that I wanted to get up and up close and personal with uh, with you. Thank you for taking time out to watch my vlog. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.